Hello guys, so in today's video I will just go through all these renderings that I made with this, um, I don't know, seating area with the kitchen of it and the dining of it. So I will go through all these um, renders and I will show you just the settings that I, I just put or I used to um, to get this result, let's say. And I just made also this video, so even I will show you how to make a video in Inkscape or it's just five seconds so you know nothing interesting I mean or s nothing weird or or strange things and I what I like actually in this um, in this uh, shot is the the material and the reality of this material and also let me just show you this one also and there is another one and yeah this is the last one okay so I just I will go just to SketchUp first um, and let me just turn on or turn off uh, the lights in here the sphere and the rectangle and the line and the cone okay so there is no any lights in here as you see this is the let me see if I call it a project this is the project now let's just go to Inescape so this is how it looks like uh, before any lighting things uh, and I will even show you how just to make like a view or different views and different to assist or just to um, uh, assign them with with different visual settings um, so let, let's just go to scene 2 yeah this is it uh, I think they are on so let me just see okay it's okay uh, there is a cone some all the cones are on so uh, at the beginning I just directly started to put some uh, uh, cone or spotlight okay spotlights I just opened one of these because they are all um, components that's why I just opened them and then I assign I give I give this um, if I call it a glass this glass I just gave it this material and I let me just show you what I did yes I give it a self illumination in order just to make it more real and then I add the cone I just or the spotlight by clicking it and it needs four clicks as you know it's a bit heavy this model so I just add um, a spotlight in it so directly the, the program just add to all these um, components okay so come on bro okay so let's go back a bit to here so this was um, for the for this spotlights okay and then I just add a sphere light in this tree and in here and also I just I did the same for this one I just entered inside of, of, of this uh, lamp and I gave it I gave this material uh, self illumination again and again I, I just add a sphere a sphere light okay so let me just minimize it and go here okay as you see let me just turn them on in order to see them okay so I add this sphere and I give it a, la um, a color you can just like select any color from here if you can see it I just gave it this um, color and I just add the word emissive in it to it sorry and I also give it a self illumination okay uh, of course since it's a sphere light okay so this was for the the lights for the sphere light and for the the spotlights actually I I just add for the spotlight if you can if I just select it and I open it uh, open it again okay I add I added sorry IES profile okay so I loaded it you can find in internet like so many uh, IES profiles uh, 
they are really cool they can um, make it more real okay especially for the spotlight um, and if I just go to Inkscape so you can uh, you can see in here you can see that more it's more real it's not like a normal cone or a normal spotlight okay so that's that that was um, it and for for here I just added a rectangle light if I just open uh, SketchUp again I went here and I added a rectangle light like this one okay uh, and then I give it another color also I give it just a color you see and also I since it's a rectangle so it will be a light so uh, it will be just a kind of a hidden light so if I just saw the the shot you can see it in here I think yeah this one so you can see the effect of it I really like this shot um, so this was for the rectangle one uh, and and then when I just added the the camera so I just came here okay and I click uh, F it was something like this or let me just go to maybe here so then let's say okay this is the shot that, that I want and I click F then I created uh, a new view I uh, let let's call it tutorial tutorial and then I click enter go here so you will find it in here um, go to visual setting and first of all I just uh, uncheck the auto exposure for all of the for all the uh, the shot that I made and then I just put 20 or 30 in here for the the exposure or more it was I think 50 let's see for for the exposure and for the atmosphere the, the sun brightness I put it 30 okay and then um, I will edit this one at the end okay so for the the main one I just let's say um, I created a new preset let's to you just call it to you and again enter so um, now I'm editing I'm just if, if you can see this panel just open it from here so now to make sure that I'm just editing a TU okay and let's first go to F and for the tutorial click in here and then linked visual preset just click TU and then save so now it's linked okay so if I just change okay it's not tutorial come on bro it's fine it's tutorial okay uh, so now if I just change anything in here so this to you or that shot will be assigned to this visual setting okay so if I just created another shot it will be something different totally different so now I will start to change these things so first of all I uncheck the auto exposure I left it as 50 it's fine and then I the image for the atmosphere let's put it at 30 and then um, I started to work with the lights so uh, I put it I put um, these lines I put the lines and the rectangle um, lights it's really heavy one so I should wait a bit it's fine come on okay let's wait a bit it's fine so adding um, this line line light and the rectangle one also from here the rectangle and the uh, line so uh, as you see I just added one of them okay I created one and then I just copied it five times and then five times up and then I started just to uh, rotate some of them this was for the rectangles and for the line I just created a group of them I add two here and then I went outside outside which is this one and then I put three or four and also in here 
okay, in order to make this effect. And then what, what I found when, when I was creating this view, the view which was the first one like in here, I, what I did is I found that this area is really dark one. So I gave this wall an illumination material. So if I click in here now, you will see it's FG. So if I created it, if I open this material, so you will see that I gave it self illumination in order to create that shot. So if I just open it in here, you can see there is self illumination. So because I found it, it was really dark area. So that's why I, I wanted to make something hidden one. Um, so this was it. Um, it's nothing that um, hard I mean okay uh, and then for the materials I just put it in here first put the end scape in here and bin it let's just bin close it first Open Enscape and then Disk Pen. Bend this one and then open the SketchUp. Okay, so um, let's just see this material. Yes, this one. So by clicking in it and then open the, the, the material. I just started to uh, increase as and decrease the roughness of of this material okay as you see the illumination of it and uh, this was first and then I added some metallic things to make it more uh, reflective and for that one I just let me just select it I also just uh, add there is a height for it a bump map I put the, br the brightness as you see 18 and then for the general setting the roughness is approximately 100% because I don't want it I don't want to see any um, reflection from it and for this carpet I just uh, I just make it as the type of it make it as carpet and then the height and the height variation I made them 5 and 5 um, this was first uh, again the same thing for all this material just by clicking on them and then changing all the, the things that you want okay it's something that if you accepted it like this or if you didn't the thing that you will like so this was actually it and then by um, entering again in here uh, changing something with the image Increasing the highlight, decreasing these shadows, the cool temperature make it a bit better, and then this bloom zero and vignette zero again. If the sun bright as as it is, the intensity, the height. Um, for the output, I put it as ultra HD in order to render in a good uh, quality. And yes, that's it. So it's not that uh, much hard uh, for, for the field of view. I just change some of the of the views. And I didn't for for some yes as you see so I just started to increase the field of view and some of them I add some depth of field uh, depth of field and then uh, changing the, the focal point so this was uh, it if you do have any question I really open to answer them.